Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another haul video and this time it is a beauty haul. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with makeup and recently I received a couple of products from different brands and I also purchased some myself. So I thought what more of a better idea than to share with you guys what I got. So if you're interested to see more of this, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'll start with the products that I got from Shu Uemura. I recently did a shoot with them and they were kind enough to let me pick out some products and I picked up a few stuff that I was interested to try out. So the first one is the Shu Uemura Light Belt Fluid Foundation. It comes with this really adorable sponge which reminds me of Beauty Blender but you're supposed to use it dry. I actually tried this before because when I was doing the shoot with them, they actually used this product on me and it looks very dewy and I can't wait to try it out myself as well so I'm really glad that they gave me this and next one from Shu Uemura is this false eyelashes and it is called the partial soft cross they come in individual pieces like that and I'm actually wearing two pieces on my eyes today I really love this because I don't particularly love wearing full set of eyelashes because they poke me in the eye and it's just very uncomfortable and sometimes you just you get very paranoid, you keep, you're keep, you always worried if your eyelashes are falling and things like that. So I personally love wearing partial lashes more than full set of lashes. So I picked this one up and I'm really happy about it. And then next is just, this is just a Shu Uemura quad case. I, yeah, it's a quad case because I actually have a few um, refills of their blushes and eyeshadows and I just don't have anywhere to put them so I decided to get the quad case to put all of those refills in so I can carry them around with me so next one from Shu Uemura it is this lipstick called Spiky Rose um, it is very moisturizing and it reminds me of the serum intense lipstick from Laneige it is very pretty pinky red color but it is more of a sheer lipstick it is great for layering it is great to be worn sheer as well as a daily lipstick it is very versatile so i can't wait to try it out this one also from Shu Uemura if you watch my makeup tutorials i only use my Shu Uemura eyelash curler that is the only one that i have and the only one that i love so but sometimes it is difficult when you use the normal eyelash curler and my eyelashes are pretty droopy the eyelash curler just doesn't get the eyelashes at the end so I picked up this one it is called the S curler and it is a partial eyelash curler so you can curl individually not individually but just like partially I guess so I used this today I absolutely love it and I will be continuing using this until god knows when and I also feel like it is great because it is not closed so I feel like it is great when you have already have false lashes on and you just want to blend your eyelashes together. I think that this would be great for that usage as well. So the next one from Shu Uemura, it is... I picked up this Deep Sea Water Mist. I saw them using this to set makeup and also to prime the face, um, give it moisture and things like that. I wonder if it works as well as the MAC Fix Plus but um, I'll just have to find out myself. I haven't got to using this yet, but I'm excited to try this. Uh, and the last product from Shu Uemura, it is the eyebrow pencil because I'm running out of my eyebrow pencil. If you watch my few previous tutorials, I've been using this really tiny eyebrow pencil that is running really low. I just felt like I needed a new eyebrow pencil and I got this one and I feel like the design is pretty clever because the tip of the pencil is flat so it is great for mimicking the hair, your natural brow hair and but the thing is I wouldn't know how am I supposed to sharpen this um, but we'll just have to figure it out okay we're done with Shu Uemura so moving on I received a cup what? So moving on, Urban Decay sent me their Spring Summer 2015 collection and I thought I would include that in this haul because I absolutely love the products that they sent me. Okay, so the first one, which is the biggest one from the package, it is this Urban Decay Black Magic 24-7 Glide-On Double-Ended Eye Pencil Set. When I saw this, I went 
crazy because I'm pretty sure that Urban Decay is known for their eye pencil because it is very creamy, very pigmented, very easy. It literally, as its name says, glide on your eyes. So in this set, it comes with four pencils, but they are dual-ended, meaning you get eight different colors in this whole set. And the color that I have is Black Velvet, Smoke, Black Market, Tornado, Perversion, LSD, Zero, and Demolition. So there are a range of blacks, grey to brown and purple and sparkly green. So, and I'm really excited to create different looks with this pencil because they are super creamy. They go on effortlessly. It is amazing. And I believe that they come in individual pencils as well. But this is great because it takes me forever to use up a pencil. So this one is this short and I get so many colors. It is amazing. And then next one from Urban Decay. It comes in a really beautiful floral purple pouch. Purple is my favorite color. That's why I love Urban Decay because purple is Urban Decay's color, I believe. And then um, inside this pouch, it is their Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I never really use powder foundation because I'm just used to liquid foundation, it is what works for me and I just never really thought about trying out different type of foundation. And the packaging is really gorgeous, it is like this, this mirror reflective case and then it has their logo on it and when you open it, it comes in a very generous sized mirror with a sponge that is double sided and their PR person actually told me that it is, you can use this you can use this wet, so you actually wet the sponge and apply it on your face. And I am planning to try this really soon. I'm a bit nervous about it, but who knows, maybe I'll end up liking it. Okay, and the next one from Urban Decay, they also sent me the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It is light diffusing, it is peptide infused and paraben free. I never even opened this thing yet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, again, I love Urban Decay's packaging. It is always so chic and modern. Um, the color that they gave me is light warm. I hope it matches my skin. I haven't got around to trying it, but I will very soon and I'll get back to you on it. And you know that I love concealer. I use this concealer so much and I'm always on the hunt for a good concealer for my terrible dark circles. So can't wait. And then, oh my god, Urban Decay also sent me this eyeshadow called Ether, Ether? I'm going with Ether. It is a very sparkly purple eyeshadow and I'm so excited because it is so pigmented. Look at that. That was just one swipe. Oh, do you see that? Look at that. It is so gorgeous. And I feel like it came just in time because I have that uh, Maybelline tattoo paint pot thingy in purple and I never knew how to use it. And I'm glad that Urban Decay sent me this because I feel like this came just in time for a purpley, glittery makeup tutorial. Uh, moving on, they sent me the Urban Decay mascara Resurrection, Reboot, Refresh, Renew. I thought it was mascara, but then when I checked back on the PR email, it is actually... Uh, I don't even really know how to explain. And you guys know I suck at explaining. This is actually uh, a refresher for your lashes. Um, what is a better way to say it? Um, okay, so for example, you wear your mascara for the whole day and then, then at night you still want to go somewhere for a party and you want to touch up your mascara but you know when you touch up your mascara too much it gets really clumpy and spidery but I suppose this helps you get rid of that so before you apply your fresh coat of mascara you apply this on your lashes first then you touch up your mascara with a fresh coat so I think that it makes it reboots, refresh, and renew. And it helps make your 
mascara goes on smoother and more beautifully I suppose and I'm sure that when I try this out myself I will be able to give you a better explanation on this so stay tuned okay Urban Decay also sent me this two lipsticks I'm so happy whenever people send me lipsticks because it is it's just glamorous lipstick is a sign of glamour to me so okay packaging once again well done Urban Decay I never get tired of Urban Decay's packaging it is so purpley so reflective mirror chrome finish is always lovely I think this is the sheer series sheer series it is the sheer series they sent me two colors one is obsessed one is f-bomb so f-bomb it is a red color very moisturizing it reminds me of the shoe or mural one that i just talked about it goes on sheer but not very sheer like tinted lip balm it is between a tinted lip balm and an actual lipstick you get me you just look at the swatch and you know my you know what i'm talking about <laughs> And then the color Obsessed is a very pretty neutral pink. It goes on really well with pretty much any skin tone, I believe. I only was able to swatch this on my hand and it feels really moisturizing. And I believe this is going to be my next go-to everyday lipstick very soon. So that is all from Urban Decay. And last but not least, I have two lipsticks from MAC. Whenever I feel like getting myself a treat, I always buy myself MAC lipsticks because I'm slowly trying to expand my MAC lipstick collection and this time around I got two shades I'll start with the luster finish it is called Plumful I heard so many great things about this um, and people were saying that it goes well with many different skin tones I'm actually wearing it right now it is real, very moisturizing and it is the type of lipstick that you can just apply on without a mirror because you don't really have to be very precise with this it goes on smooth the color is gorgeous literally there is no one bad thing I can say about this lipstick I'm very very happy with my purchase and the second lipstick I got is a matte finish and it is called Yash Y-A-S-H Yash Yash I'm going with Yash so um, I initially wanted the Velvet Teddy lipstick but unfortunately matte malaysia doesn't carry that specific shade because i wanted to try out the whole kylie jenner nude brown shade type of lips and i went with yash because it is closest to velvet teddy in my opinion and it goes really well with my skin tone because i'm really fair and a little bit of color really stands out on my skin tone so i got something that is closer to nude color but with a slight tinge of brown i tried this out yesterday with the naked 2 lip liner from urban decay and i absolutely love it and i can't wait to show you guys in my upcoming tutorials and that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll be listing all of the products down below in the description box along with all of my social media links i am pretty much ashley on everywhere so do follow me if you like and also if you want to see any first impression reviews of the products that i mentioned in this video do let me know tell me in the comments or my instagram or my facebook anywhere I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Also, if you want to see any close-up shots of the product and the swatches, do head on over to my blog gunsandglitters.com. I'll be putting the link somewhere over here. So do head on over there if you want to see more. And that's all for now. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're interested, yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you're interested, interested, uh, and if you're interested to, and if you're interested, inter, uh, don't ruin my vibe. We're we'll talking about bimbo, babe. I'm not talking about bimbo. Yes, you are. Shut up. Yes, you are. Trust me. What are you talking about? You're talking to me. No, I cannot. That I sound very boring when I talk to you. You always sleep. No, babe. Yes. Talking like a bimbo. Yeah, but people like bimbo. Nobody likes bimbo. Um, this I. Where was I? You were talking like a people. Shut up.